SANS is an abbreviation for South African National Standard. SANS codes are used to set rules and regulations for systems and processes in South Africa. SANS 10139, for example, describes the standards and regulations for fire detection and alarm systems in buildings. SANS 10142 1, also known as the Code of Practice for the Wiring of Premises, Part 1, Low Voltage Installations, sets the standards and regulations for low voltage residential, commercial, and industrial electrical installations. It is important to set these standards and regulations to make sure that people, things and property are kept safe and that things work as they should. The Occupational Health and Safety Act requires that all electrical installations comply with SANS 10142 one This means that these codes are mandatory and have the force of law. SANS 10142 one has eight sections. Clause 1 explains the general scope of the codes, in other words, what they cover and don't cover. Clause 2 lists normative references. These are references to other applicable codes and regulations. There are over 100 references to other SANS codes listed, including SANS 156, plug and socket outlet systems for household and similar purposes in South Africa. Part 0, general and safety requirements. This means that not everything we need to consider is contained within the SANS 10142-1 document. We also need to be familiar with all the referenced codes as well. Clause 3 provides some basic definitions. For example, that an armored cable is a cable that has a covering of metallic wires or galvanized steel wires or steel tape as a protection against mechanical damage. Or that low voltage is voltage that does not exceed 1000 volts alternating current or 1500 volts direct current. Clause 4 lists all the applicable compliance standards for the electrical components used in installations. For example, it says that industrial socket outlets need to comply with SANS 12396309-1 and 60309-2. Clause 5 sets out all the fundamental requirements for electrical installations, including those that relate to safety, voltage drops, the characteristics of the electrical equipment being used, and the environmental conditions. Clause 6 gives specific standards for different types of installations, like conductors and cables, wireways, circuit breakers, socket outlets, and fixed appliances, like stoves and geysers. Clause 7 provides regulations for installations in specific types of environments like bathrooms, swimming pools, caravan parks and hospitals. Clause 8 specifies how installations need to be tested and certified. Let's look at an example of how we might read and apply the SANS 10142 1 codes if we need to install a distribution board. A good place to start would be Clause 6.6 .6, Distribution Boards. This clause begins with some general regulations, namely that a distribution board must be controlled by a switch disconnector, that the board must be suitable for the environment in which it is to be installed, that it must be protected against corrosion and that it cannot be installed in specific locations or positions. This general section also stipulates that the installation must comply with Clause 5, the fundamental requirements, and that each component within the board must comply with Clause 4, the compliance standards or electrical equipment. You would also need to go through Clause 6.7, Protection, to make sure that the overcurrent, overload and short circuit protection in the board was compliant. From this simple example, we can see that the SANS code 10142 1 cannot be read like a book from beginning to end. Often, it is a good idea to start with Clause 6 Installation Requirements or Clause 7 Special Installations and Locations and then to read out from there. SANS 10142 1 gets updated about once a year. Depending on the scope of the update, you can either buy new inserts for your copy, or you might have to buy a brand new copy. Whenever you do an electrical installation, it is always the current regulations that apply. 
Therefore, as part of your planning, you need to check the current codes to make sure that your proposed method of installation is compliant.